Welcome to Becky's Garden. Today I'll be sharing with you my update on my jackfruit trees that I'm growing. So since I'm living in Washington State, these are a tropical plant. They have to be stored indoors during the winter time. Um, so I have had these in my kitchen on my windowsill all winter long and so I decided to go ahead and bring them outside today during the daytime since the daytime temperatures are um, relatively um, okay now I figured it would be okay to bring it out on my patio and so right here is my jackfruit trees um, I'm experimenting with um, braiding them and so I have three that are braided together now you guys I'm just a newbie at growing things um, I don't know if this is a good idea, probably not, but since I'm in a climate where they would need to come indoors, I figured I might as well go ahead and play around with this idea and just have fun with it, really. Um, if at anything, if they never produce fruit um, and they survive, I have a really pretty plant with really bright green leaves. So. Um, or three plants. So anyways, this is what I did today is I um, took them out of my kitchen and I put them in this pot. And as you can see, I have braided the, um, the trunks together. And so I'll probably put a stake in here and just to keep them upright, keep it growing straight. And then as it adds new um, growth, I will just continue to um, weave them together. Anyways, yeah, and I broke off the bottom leaves so that I could see the trunk better and the, um, the braiding. So it's not perfect. Um, I'm just, you know, trying this out. But I mean, the top looks really nice and I have them in my big old pot here and I was cleaning up my patio area because it was pretty messy still from the winter time. And I still need to clean over to the left of us um, a little bit. Um, my corner, I'm going to clean that all out so please pardon my mess. And um, I'm putting up a backdrop for photographs for my crafts and stuff right over here and I'm thinking about continuing the boards all the way across behind my wheel and I'm gonna be painting it this color I had um, this blue color on these boards however I had them um, strapped or glued to some uh, bead boarding from Home Depot and um, it warped because of the weather here so that's not a good idea live and learn you guys live and you learn so <clears throat> pardon me I'm also very sick um, but I'm at home and I'm trying to get well so I figured some fresh air would do me good so I came out and I just started doing a little bit of work um, I'm really exhausted I'm really tired today but um, I just figured I'd come out here show you my update of what I'm doing with my jackfruit trees I'll bring them indoors in the evening and in the morning I'll bring them back out and set them right here so this is what I'm doing here I am straightening this area out I've got um, my planter I'm gonna get the white tag off of there and um, I just cleaned my wagon wheel and I'll be spraying that with a new coat of um, clear sealant to keep it from getting too rusty like a, like um, you know I'm living in Washington State so it's always damp here and um, before we moved here um, I was living in Colorado so um, I had sprayed it there previously because I had it outside my house so um, it's up uh, it's due for a new coat it's, it has begun to um, get rusted a little bit. I'll show you that. I'm going to step on this board because I'm trying to flatten out this backdrop that I had created. <clears throat> and so you can see the rust that's forming in there. Um, and then over here along the side, there's some rust there. But I'm going to go ahead and pardon the creaking. I'm going to go ahead and this backdrop here, I'm going to go ahead and all the way from um, right at the end of the bench all the way across to um, just on the other side of the plant I'm gonna do this boarding and so I can have some options for when I'm taking photographs of my um, my my items that I sell on my Etsy shop and just so that I kind of some natural props um, being in Washington it's always raining a lot especially in the area we live and so 
<clears throat> pardon me. So it's really nice to be able to take natural light lighting or goodness gracious, I cannot talk. It's really great to be able to take photographs with natural lighting, even on days where it's cloudy like this. Um, with a flash, it'll look it'll look just fine on um, camera. Anyways, um, that's what we're doing here, or not we, but me. And so, I've got my little planter down here. I have not planted anything in that planter. I just have some colorful blue and green and white um, opalescent um, rocks that I picked up at the dollar store and I put in there. I'll probably end up getting another few bags of them and filling it to the top so that my little um, hedgehogs can um, poke out a little bit more and I'm just using it as a decorative piece. I won't be putting any plants in that anytime soon, maybe one day. And then I've got my little bench and then that's my hydrangea plant. And I, you guys, it's important to repurpose um, things that you have around your home. And years ago, when my husband was in the Navy, we did a lot of moving. And so when we moved, my glass insert for my party light um, candle, it was for those giant ones, it got broke in one of our moves. And I never had like $75 or not that I didn't have the money, but I wasn't willing to replace it so what I did was um, I just repurposed it y'all I, I put the pot in there and I actually have room for like two if I had like a smaller pot on the bottom or maybe like a decorative bowl or something to go underneath I don't know I'm just gonna use it like that I think it looks it works it's just fine it's repurposed I'm gonna use it as a plant stand and so yeah this is my mess over here and um, some of the things that I've got growing. So I was just rearranging some of my um, pots today. And um, I might move my little gnome. I'm not sure. But that's my mess over there in the corner that I'm, you know, dealing with. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish cleaning this all up. I still need to spray a little bit more. We've got the mold, or not mold, but the moss that grows on the cement. And I, you can see that I sprayed some of it off today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably... Um, get the hose here in a minute and spray some more of this and make it look really nice and I'm gonna come I'm gonna completely clean up this corner today so this is all gonna get cleaned up and um and it's just so it looks really nice over here and we can access our garage um and then I went ahead and I moved some of my stuff around these are um those sweet peas with the pretty flowers now when they grow, these are these are not the edible kind. These are just gonna be pretty, and I planted them here for some for privacy. So um, I'm hoping that they grow up pretty far. Um, I just figured my neighbor would probably appreciate a little bit of privacy, and I know that when we're sitting on our patio, um, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of privacy too. That way, we don't feel like we have to engage in conversation with one another. But there's still gonna be some opening so that if we want, we can chit chat. Um, but, uh, you know, when you live in a city, it's, it can be kind of hard sometimes because you just want to, um, you don't always, not that you want to, but you don't always want to have to talk to people, but at the same time, you do want to talk to people. I don't know. It's just nice to have privacy. And so, um, yeah, so in these pots right along here, I have, um, uh, a type of privacy type plant and it'll look pretty too when it puts flowers out and so um, I went ahead and I moved um, some pots up here in these pots right here these are the pecan trees the hardy pecan trees I was telling you about in my last video and um, yeah I'll just get down here so you can see uh, I don't even know if this is alive you guys I mean like I said like you can bend it and there is some give and so I'm thinking they might be alive. Um, I don't know. I really have no clue. So, and then here are some more of those sweet peas. So I've got three of those along here. And then there's a gap. So in the gap, I decided I'd put some plants that I want to keep an eye on. But um, I don't have to do anything to just so I can see. Um, 
so I might toss in some like some flower seeds in there because I don't think flower seeds will bother or be too invasive I don't know you guys let me know if you think that's a good idea probably not but um so what I did was I want to be able to weed eat underneath so I just moved them up so you can see where the grass is dead underneath each of the pots and um originally had them on the fence but um they were a little bit too uh heavy for the chain link fence with all that dirt in there so um I have to have some sort of support so I've got these little plant stands and I only have two of the plant stands so I'm probably going to end up um getting one more to put underneath this one and then uh so yeah that'll look good and I'll be moving these these are empty right now there's nothing in them these two up here so I'll be moving those out of the way once these plants start trailing and I'll probably plant some herbs or some radishes in these um, I'm not sure yet um, maybe some beans I don't know you guys let me know what you think I should plant in these uh, so anyways yeah that's what I'm doing today is I was just cleaning up this patio area a little bit and I'm just kind of moving slow today I'm not you know filling 100% but I'm gonna clean that up. It's an eyesore, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make it look nice, so that um, there's paint from the landlords out here. I don't know what that project is from. That black mark on the ground. I have no idea what that is. I never even noticed it before. But it's not caused by me. I know that much. I didn't do that. So. Um, my patio is a mess. I was moving everything away from the wall so that I could clean it up uh, for spring and all my mess. That is a bunch of junk right there. I keep picking up trash out of my yard. I don't know where it's all where it's all coming from, like the pla pieces of plastic and stuff. Of course, I know where the burpee plant dirt came from, but um, there's like little pieces of plastic. And we don't have little pieces of plastic for, um, I don't know, is that a popsicle wrapper? I'm not sure but my kids don't even eat those anymore because I make homemade ones so I don't know where all the plastic is coming from but this um, giant pile that's from the dryer vent and so that's the mess I'm cleaning up over here in this corner so I'm gonna get that done um, pardon me you guys I'm really not feeling well uh, so anyways yeah it's gonna look really super nice once I get done with it today and so that's what I'm working on focusing on just along the side of the house here and I'm going to get this all cleaned up so it looks really nice. And then I have a really great place to take photos because I'm wanting to take some photos. And I want to start sharing my um, my scarves with you guys. And so I will just be having um, my, when I have my intros to my videos, I'll say like, welcome to Becky's Garden, BNC. And um, I'm thinking about maybe just setting up like a, like a cute little basin out here too. And um, maybe like a little mirror or something. I'm not sure you guys that way I can just do videos out here on my patio and it'll all just be Becky's garden and so um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, beauty type related videos with um, how this new product that I'm gonna be using on my face and then I'll be sharing a link to my friends website that I purchased her stuff from and I'm gonna be starting a new um, beauty care um, skincare products uh, I'm not really big into makeup I do like makeup I am not very good at applying makeup at all so I won't be doing um, tutorials on how to apply makeup but I will talk about products that I love and I'll talk about how they make my face feel and my skin feel and um, I may show like after I have applied makeup like what it looks like on my face but I will not be applying makeup in my videos um, I will share maybe videos of me um, like washing my face applying um, skin polishes and that sort of thing that's probably gonna be the only kind of videos I do um, which will help promote my friend and um, and so um, I, I'm not sure how many people have heard of the company. It's called Limelight by Allen Co. And so um, my husband's not too keen on me um, signing up for uh, the company and um, doing it myself. 
and even though I really like the products and I think they're really great it's like you guys it's like a spa going to a spa on your face and you can do it in your own home it's pretty awesome and I really like the products because they're all natural paraben free vegan and um, I'm not a vegan but I do not mind um, the lifestyle of vegetable based products uh, I think they're really great for our skin and so I'll be doing that I'll be sharing um, uh, my crafts and arts and so that's why I'm doing this right here as I'm making it look really pretty so that I can um, come out here even in the winter and I take can take photographs of um, my crafts and my arts that I'm going to be sharing and I'll be linking to my Etsy shop of the things that I've made and so basically I'll just be filming most likely um, the finished products and maybe like showing you the motifs and then I'll link you to my patterns because I create my own patterns and then I sell them on Etsy and so that way people who don't know how to cr or know how to crochet see you guys I am sick I am not thinking clearly people who know how to crochet and or knit they can go to my Etsy shop and they'll be able to um, purchase my patterns and I'll be creating a special promo code for people who um, see my patterns uh, or the finished product on um, YouTube and so it'll be a special YouTube promo so when you go over to my Etsy shop you'll get a discount when purchasing and you'll be able to apply that and it'll be a code that will remain I will it will never expire so anytime that you see a pattern that you like you can go over and you can apply it to the pattern when you purchase which will be really super great for people who don't know how to crochet um, I'm more than willing to do custom orders and create um, scarves and or anything that you see in my Etsy shop that um, you would like to have made for you or if you have an idea of something that I don't have in my Etsy shop I'm pretty pretty good at being able to sit down with pen and paper and yarn and come up with almost any kind of design really and so um, that's how I do it I just sit down I relax and I take my pen and paper out and a lot of times I'll draw what I'm going to create and uh, so then I just kind of size up as I crochet I'll just conform what I'm doing to the the outline of the pattern that I'm trying to create and so I have done it that way before so anyways uh, yeah this kind of gotten a little bit lengthy but um, anyways yeah just cleaning up and getting ready for spring and like I said I'm gonna probably have these boards go all the way across and um, this way if we ever move again I can basically recreate my backdrop anywhere we go and so because we move so much and I'm kind of tired of moving and I'm tired of my backdrops always changing and my Etsy shop looking totally ununiform which is why you've been seeing me update my patterns and I've been updating all of my um, my photographs so that they look more uniform and more cohesive so um, you guys have a great day and if you've made it through this bless your hearts um, from one sick person to the rest of y'all have a great day bye